Now, Global Peace Foundation Nigeria and Justice, Development and Peace Characters are urging Nigerians, religious leaders, and other stakeholders to promote peaceful coexistence and religious tolerance on the International Day of Nonviolence. Now, the theme, Fostering Peace, Unity and Harmony in Kaduna, emphasizes respecting each other's cultures, ethnicity, and religions as one united nation. Our correspondent, Habila Dorofai's report, is presented from our studios. Every October, our day is set to celebrate Gandhi, a pioneer of non-violence resistance to promote non-violence and its importance in addressing conflicts, advocating for human rights and fostering peace. This year, stakeholders bring together schools and youths to chart a pathway for living together as one united Nigeria, promoting human dignity and addressing marginalization and injustice as major drivers of violence. We should try as hard as we can, you know, to shun violence. We should contain conflict. We should promote our, our peace and promote non-violence uh, as well. We should uh, be knowledgeable about the concept of the common humanity. We must know first that we are human beings before any other thing. The government should try and ensure that every aspect of society is involved. Sometimes the way these developments are carried out, there are a whole lot of people, a session of people who feel neglected, who feel that the government does not necessarily care about them. And Global Peace Foundation's Northern Coordinator, Sheikh Ali Maraya, emphasizes the need for a peaceful society and calls for quality education, health care and social amenities to address youth restiveness in Nigeria. Here we have invited many students from many schools across Kaduna State. Uh, the mission of that is to inculcate in the young ones the spirit of living peacefully, the spirit of loving all and sundry regardless of any difference. And we are also making effort in inculcating in our religious leaders the spirit of togetherness. They should always remember that we don't have any other country than Nigeria. Therefore, we have to make concerted effort to do everything that we can to ensure that we live peacefully in this country in order not to destroy it. The event participants assaulted and violence does not end society, but instead leads to crisis and conflicts within communities. When there is peace, there is promotion, there is unity, there is love. Peace is the summary of success. If there is peace in Nigeria today, those things that we are passing through will not be passing through. The Nigeria will be a better country because God has blessed us with good resources. In the whole of Africa, Nigeria is one of the most best countries, blessed. In the whole world, it's among the most blessed countries, but because of violence, we are passing through many difficult. Ethnic groups in Nigeria are actively seeking peace through government and individuals, expressing zero tolerance for discrimination in infrastructure and development. If I, as a human being, cannot promote peace as an individual, promote peace as an evil person, then promoting peace in the whole world would be very difficult. There is no gain in violence, both physically, spiritually, and traditionally. There is no gain. It is the, 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 the economic system and the, 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 the mindset of people have corrupt us. We have to join hands together, come together, so that we can be able to do and know how we are going to make that thing to succeed, so that our country will be a better and a peaceful country. Instead of showing this person is more than this, this person, it will only destroy the country, not bring peace. It will bring violence. The International Day of Nonviolence emphasizes the effectiveness of nonviolent action in resolving conflicts without violence, encouraging individuals, communities, and nations to embrace nonviolence for positive change and harmony. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.